Doctors call it using oxygen as a drug. It's a medical process that's getting results. Scott Inman has more in tonight's Health Check 7 report. 23-year-old Jason Evans nearly lost his life last November. As a sheriff's deputy, Evans was involved in a high-speed chase that ended when he lost control of his vehicle and hit two trees going at least 80 miles per hour. The car caught on fire. I had a broken hip, a broken kneecap, third-degree burns to my right leg, and uh, burns to my right foot, and a burn on my right shoulder. The doctors were telling me right away that if I didn't lose my foot, that I would lose four toes. But Jason but made it through a one-month hospital stay and was then approached with a different kind of treatment option. At the North Little Rock Baptist Med Center, Jason was introduced to the hyperbaric chamber, in essence, a pressure chamber that increases the amount of oxygen that patients have in their blood. At normal uh, baric conditions, say in this room, your, your oxygen would be, say, 100. In here, at pressure, it's going to be over 2,000. So in those small vessels, in, the, in those disease processes, you know, we can get the oxygen level up high enough to where the wounds actually heal. After 60 two-hour treatments over 12 weeks, Jason still has his foot. I think that we helped save his foot. You know, his foot was in bad condition as well, uh, <clears throat> and it was, in a, it, it was at a point to where uh, we were actually able to help it with hyperbaric oxygen. I still got a long way to go. Hopefully around September I'll be looking for looking for some more work. And Jason hopes to return to the Sheriff's Department and once again become a deputy.